Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cynthia. I wanted to come in and give you this video on how to um, track your macros for the ketogenic diet. So um, the first thing that I want to let you guys know is the definition of a macro. So when we say macros, we're talking about macronutrients. And macronutrients are also, um, obviously what makes up your calorie intake, which is the fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. So when you hear us say macro, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about your percentage of each of your macronutrients that make up, of, make up the um, carbs, fats, and proteins that you eat in your diet. So the best thing that you want to do is first find out your uh, calorie intake for the ketogenic diet. So for the ketogenic diet, we follow a 5% uh, carb, a 20% protein, and 70% fat. So in order for us to find out your calorie intake, we need to go to an app that will calcu calculate this for you. So I'm gonna go and switch my screen and I'm gonna show you a, a website that you can go and figure out your um, macros. And this is based on your um, weight loss. So it's gonna be different if you are um, lifting weights or in CrossFit or um, you are looking to build muscle, it's gonna be different macronutrients. But for this particular video we're doing and we're focusing on weight loss. So the first thing that you wanna do is go to the ketodietapp.com and I'm gonna switch my screen and I'm gonna walk you through everything for you, okay? So give me one second and uh, let me switch over to share my screen with you, okay. So this is the Keto Diet app. You want to go into this particular website and click on the blog because we want to look for the um, Keto Buddy um, calculator. So she has that in her blog all the way down. If you scroll down, you're going to, and you don't want to download the app or anything, but she has a free keto calculator so you can find out your macronutrients. So you're just going to go to this website and you're going to plug everything in that you need to figure out what your uh, calorie intake is going to be based on your particular uh, metrics, like your height, your age, um, your weight. So I suggest that you get on the scale and go ahead and weigh yourself so you can figure out what, you, what your macronutrients are going to be for this. So um, the other thing that you're going to need to do is download a um, app the ones that I recommend are your MyFitnessPal and also Carb Manager is what I use. So let's get started and we're gonna keep it on US and you're gonna fill in all of this information. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put in my calculations um, that way you can see. So I am 36 years old, I weigh 146 pounds and I am five feet four inches. Okay, and then you want to scroll down and I want you to set your activity level to uh, sed sedentary because um, you're not going to put down that you're an athlete or a bodybuilder or moder moderately active or very active. The reason why I want you to use this is because this is going to be the most uh, accurate one for your protein levels. Like It's going to give you your max protein. Um, and if you don't know, but protein is what's going to help you lose weight so and help you burn fat better. So using this particular activity level is going to get you the most results for weight loss. So even if you are lightly active or moderately active and you want to lose weight, use the sedentary active level. Okay, now for your body fat. Um, Everyone needs to be either between 30 and 25%. If you feel like that's not correct or you have an actual caliber that you can um, measure your body fat with, then go ahead and use that. If not, if you don't feel like that's correct, you can go click on have a look here and there's pictures and you can pick what you think your body type looks like and use that fat percentage. So I'm going to um, change mine to 30 and I'm going to change my net carbs to 20 because with the ketogenic diet, you are following your macros to 20 net carbs. And 
Um, this means that you are going to do your total carbohydrates minus a fiber intake. Now you can also use or deduct at least five grams of sugar alcohols, but no more than that. So when you're looking at your ingredients and they have sugar alcohols, you can only subtract five grams. Okay. Just a little tip for you. Um, but you want to make sure that you set your, um, net carbs to 20 grams. Okay. So once you've done that, you're going to scroll down to, sorry, give me one second. I went too far. <laughs> right here is going to show your calculated macros. So you have maintenance. So this is your maintenance level. You just want to keep your weight the same, but you want to keep following the ketogenic diet. And then you have your goal for weight loss here, weight gain or custom. So we're going to leave it on weight loss. And you have um, different ranges. So you have the small calorie deficit, the moderate, and you have the large. What I want you to do is follow the moderate calorie deficit. And this is what you're going to do to um, plug into your app. The reason why I want you to pick moderate is because this is gonna be the best for you for your goal as far as weight loss is concerned. So once you get this information down, so for me, my calorie intake would be um, 1,297 calories. My um, grams is gonna be 20 grams for net carbs, protein is 60 grams, and fat is 108. So this is if I wanted to lose more weight. Um, so then you're going to take it to the carb manager app. And that's what I use. I use the carb manager app and um, on here, let me see if I can log in for you. I should have logged in before I created the video, but <laughs> nothing goes perfectly. But here is the carb manager and you want to go in to getting started and you are gonna fill in all of this information. So you want it to track all your macros, track calories, you want to keep your units as US and your calorie intake. And you're going to hit continue and you're going to fill out all of this information. My stuff is already in there and I have my activity level is very active. Now I'm showing you my carb manager. For me, my macros are different because I am very um, active. I am actually doing some uh, weightlifting to build muscle. I have classes. So mine's a little bit different. I'm not going to change anything on mine. I'm just showing you where to go in your app so that you can put in your information. So here um, where it says set your goals, I need you to change this to custom. You can fill all of this out. But here when it asks you about your calorie budget, you need to change this to custom and you need to go back to your keto diet buddy app and you need to put in all of this information that says 20 grams net carbs, 60 grams protein, 108 grams of fat. So where it has your gram intake is where you need to set these up. So once you've done that, you're going to hit apply. Okay. So back to your daily log. So for instance, when you're logging in your, um, your food intake, I suggest you go, just for you guys that are beginning, I want you to take it meal by meal. Um, once you get comfortable with um, creating a meal plan and knowing what you're gonna eat, like if you know you're gonna eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, then you can go back in and divide like how many grams you need to have for each meal if, if that's what you wanna do. In the beginning, just take it one meal at a time. Don't um, feel overwhelmed. Just kinda see where you're at right now. It's okay if you go over, if you're under. Typically people with the ketogenic diet do not consume all of their calorie intake in the beginning. Um, so just use it to find your, uh, what works for you and your lifestyle. So if you're eating breakfast or you're skipping breakfast or what have you. So the reason why I use Carb Manager is because it also already has um, the ketones in their food list. So for instance, if I come in and hit breakfast and add foods, I'm going to put in up here, just prove it. And it's gonna give me all of the keto S. So like for me in the morning, I drink a keto S chocolate swirl by prove it. And when I enter that in, it tells you it has two 
net two grams of net carbs and it has zero fat zero protein um, and then I'm gonna put add today but I also have a Starbucks iced coffee with my chocolate swirl so I'm gonna come in and put Starbucks ice blonde it's blonde roast sorry Starbucks blonde roast coffee and I usually have about so here it'll let you change like your serving so what is this hold on I've never done it on the website so let me see where I need to change here we go so I normally have well it's not showing me any cups right here cups and I have about two cups. Will this let me change? What is this? Well, on the app, sorry guys, on the app, it lets me put in cups. So I just use the website. I've never used the website before, but I use the website for this video sake so that I could show you exactly um, how to enter in your information and how it tracks it. So did I add it? I think I added it. Let me get out of here. Okay, so hold on a second. I lost it. Oh my gosh, I lost it. Well, let me see if I can get back in. I know. Car manager, log in. Let me see if it saved my stuff. Did I save it? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. I put it in a lot of times. So um, in here you can see like I still I would have to add my heavy whipping cream in here and then that would be my fat intake. So let me see if I can add just my heavy whipping cream. Give me one second. Add foods and then I use heavy whipping cream and I do use this one. And yeah, I would say tablespoon. I probably use. Oh, here we go. I would say I use like four. Okay, add. And then I'll close this out. And then here it will show you like where you're at. So right here, I still have 16 grams of net carbs left because of my chocolate swirl. I had two grams. So there is how you would continue to track your macros. Um, I hope that that makes sense for you guys and that helps you with tracking your macros. Um, like I said, you want to um, just kind of go meal by meal and see where you're at when it comes to tracking your macros, see how you can um, hit your um, fat consumption and also no, not go over your carbs because that's going to be the biggest thing. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via Facebook Messenger or Instagram. You guys have a fantastic day. I hope that was helpful. You guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.